Hello there. Today, we're gonna get out and we're gonna do a little grocery shopping. Everyone in the house is kinda sick right now, not feeling too well. And so it's up to me to go out and run the errands. We're gonna go to an HEB here in Lubbock, Texas. And yeah, join me as I do some grocery shopping today. My parents have a nice car. It's a, a Honda Pilot, black edition. It's pretty sweet. But a lot of people have been saying, Nick, show us your city. Show us your campoon. Show us your house. Uh, in case you're wondering if you're new to this channel, I'm a uh, travel vlogger. And I spend a lot of time in Southeast Asia, particularly Indonesia, some of Malaysia. A little bit of Singapore but mostly Indonesia so I have a lot of Indonesian subscribers and a lot of people have been saying they want to see my kampung they want to see where I live and to be honest I think I live in a pretty boring place <laughs> and so for me there's not a whole lot to show you in my opinion I live in a pretty small size city in America, in Texas, there's about 250,000 people that live here. It's a West Texas country town. There's on the outside, there's a lot of agriculture and cotton farms. Uh, inside the city, it looks a lot like this, just, you know, regular medium-sized homes. All the streets are straight. They go northwest, uh, northwest. They go north, south, east, west, because where I'm from is the flattest place on earth and the city that I live in is pretty much laid out like a grid. They go north, south, east, west and you cannot get lost in my city. But you guys want to see it? I'll show you. I'll show you. It is freezing today by the way. It is, it says 15 degrees, not Celsius, 15 degrees Fahrenheit which 32 degrees Fahrenheit is zero degrees Celsius freezing and so it is below freezing outside even though it might not look like it but it is oh and this is my middle school right here that's where I went to it was a junior high when I went there a junior high school and now it's a middle school today is today's Friday but uh, to, in two days it's Christmas so the kids are already out and so it's, it's holiday right right now and so yeah, I think a lot of people from Indonesia, they don't really care what I do. You know, I'm used to going on these adventures. So yeah, basically the story behind this is, this used to be essentially just a slum. And a few college kids got the idea to paint the entire city in colors. And exploring through neighborhoods and trying all different kinds of food. Uh, let me show you what I'm looking at here. I'm excited to eat these potatoes because uh, they grow the potatoes here. So everybody's looking at me. And not. And not. That is good. I like the style here. Everybody wears like a sarong. Sarong, yeah. Sarong. Sarong. Okay, sarong. So everyone kind of drapes a sarong around their shoulders and walks around. Uh, I think it's kind of keep it warm, but also, you know, kind of stylish, yeah. And well, everything here is just not that exciting to me. And so, I still think people want to just see some of those ordinary, everyday, mundane kind of things that I do. And so that's why I'm going to take you grocery shopping with me. Sound good? That would be a church. Where I live, it is in what's called the Bible Belt. There's a strip in America where most Christians live, I think, and you'll find the most churches in that area. And I'm, where I'm from, uh, it, it's in that, I don't know, area called the Bible Belt. And so you'll see a lot of churches here, just about on every street, uh, on every corner you'll find a church. And they're huge, huge. 
I wouldn't necessarily, I wouldn't necessarily call them mega churches, but man, we got some pretty big churches. So if I find some up here, uh, I'll be sure to point them out. But this is what the roads look like here. You know, here we have six lanes of traffic with a turning lane in the middle, so seven total lanes. You know, I'm going 40 miles per hour. Here, you gotta have a car. You gotta have a car. And in Texas, we have a lot of trucks. Everyone here has a, a big truck. You know, that's that's a small truck, honestly. That ain't nothing. See this right here, this big big guy right here? Even that is just a single cab. That ain't that big. But if you just look around, trucks everywhere. And to be honest, people don't need trucks here. A lot of people just have them just because they're cool and they're not actually hauling things and you know I had a truck in high school I loved it but I didn't I didn't use it properly <laughs> you know I just used it when people needed help moving like oh Nick has a truck let's call him yeah that's the worst part about having a truck is because when people need to move shit they call you so that's the last truck I ever owned <laughs> All the streets go straight. All right, and here you can turn right on red. There's no cars coming. I couldn't do that in Japan. In Japan, you're driving on the opposite side of the road. And so, um, you know, you drive the steering wheels on this side and everything is just flipped. And one thing that was very different driving in Japan is that you can't turn left on a red light. And so here, if, the, if there's no one coming and you want to go, you can go. But that is illegal in Japan and Indonesia. I don't think they really pay attention to the rules. It's just, if you can go, you go. Uh, if there's an opportunity to get across the road, even if the light's red, people don't really care. in the background so yes this car is sweet but just recently the speakers and I think the wiring uh, in the entertainment console and, the, and the, all this over here is messed up and so the speakers are popping right now which hopefully that's not too annoying and how my city is laid out every mile there's a main road and so like I said, it's like a grid. Uh, everything north, south, east, west, and then the main the main streets uh, are either uh, numbered from First Street all the way to 100 and something. And then those streets go north, south, east, west. Uh, they're all names, and so in each of the main streets are is uh, a mile apart. So the street that we were just on, and then this one was a mile apart, and so. It's just made up, made up of huge squares. I mean, it's just a, a square town. I mean, yeah, there's some curves up here. Look, oh, woohoo! Look at this turn. Yeah, I get it. That's another reason why I like living in Japan because their driving is is fun because not all the the roads are just just straight. So you can drive through the mountains and it's just completely different. Like here you just drive just to get to point A to point B. You don't do it as a, a uh, fun activity. Uh, also, if you're just tuning in, I haven't lived in Texas for 12 years. And so I'm not exactly your typical Texan. I lived in Japan for 11 years and I've been in Southeast Asia for about a year and a half. And so 
You know, I'm 37 and I moved away from Texas when I was 24. So I've lived the majority of my adult life outside not only Texas, but America. And so it is strange coming back and trying to, you know, just get used to things. Um, you just notice a lot of things that you used to not pay attention to necessarily. Like when I first came back the first time, one thing that just really stuck out to me was just the size of people here. I mean, it's always a joke like, oh yeah, American people are fat, but yo, we got big people here and that's just normal. It's kind of sad. It's not like that anywhere else. And one thing I've noticed this time is how wasteful a lot of people are here. We use so many single use items cups and plates and uh, silverware and napkins everything is just you use it once throw away use it once throw away and a lot of it's paper which is okay it's you know maybe biodegradable but it's still very wasteful but the one thing that's not biodegradable is styrofoam and we use so much styrofoam here it is hey the fire truck It is crazy how much styrofoam we use here. You know, going to a fast food restaurant, you're gonna get a, if you get a drink, uh, the sizes are gonna be bigger and it's 100% always given to you in this huge, massive, do I have any? Styrofoam cup. Uh, sometimes you'll go, go somewhere and even if you're dining in, they don't use uh, plastic dishware that they can reuse and wash. They'll serve you in styrofoam plates or trays and then they just throw it away and it's it's just crazy to me. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. We throw away things here and then we just think, oh, there, it's gone. You know, someone else's problem now. And that shit just goes and sits in a landfill and just is going to sit there forever. And so just because you're just, you're throwing it away, you're not still gonna go sit somewhere so like I said this is all new development out here all new and this used to be just like a two-lane road yeah I'm definitely not going the right way and I'm getting super hot H-E-B where are you I think I need to go right there's a United supermarket hey I could go there see I'm kind of getting on the outskirts of town right now if you can tell I'm on 130th Street. Is this right? I don't think so. Hmm. I might need to stop and <laughs> get Google Maps out. You know, I'm from this town. I grew up here, but like I said, all this stuff out this direction, I I'm not you know familiar with. Big truck. Big truck. But check this out. Truck. Everybody has a truck. And that is where we're going. H-E-B. I think the new most popular Grocery stores here in Lubbock. People love H-E-B. All right, let's do some grocery shopping. Do you have any uh, grocery stores like this wherever you're from? Let me know. I think this is so popular because they kind of have everything you could have, you could ever imagine. Like this is kind of your one-stop shop. You can get everything here. You throw in a party. Yep, they got you set.
Got the farmer's market right here. All your fruits and vegetables. But I do not need any of that. I need a pumpkin pie, a pecan pie, ready whip. Let's do that. Let's find the pies. how their sushi looks. Uh -huh. I can't pass on some good looking sushi. A big red and seven up pound cake? Mm -hmm. I don't think I need that. Pies, pies, pies. I think this is another reason why people like coming here, is you can try out some of the food. How you doing? I'm good, how are you? Good. Say hello. That looks delicious. Can I try some? Absolutely. That's what we're here for. Awesome. Make sure you get some. Nice. You Thank you. You're very welcome. Let's try this. It's a couple piece of honey glazed ham, it looks like. Oh, man. Mmm. Nice and smoky. That is good. Oh, check out. Back here, you got all the seafood. Tons of shrimp, crawfish. Yeah, you know, when I was in Malang, and I was with Funny, and he was taking me through the, the animal, uh, the, the bird market, the animal market, and they had the, the, uh, the baby lobsters. This is what they are right here. Is that crawfish? Freshwater lobster. Freshwater lobster. Yeah. You can change the name to Freshwater Lobster. We eat those motherfuckers here. And they're really popular. Yeah, I should take you guys to a barbecue joint, right? Go eat some barbecue and show you what real Texas barbecue looks like. That's what you want to see, don't you? <laughs> I mean, it's got to be over here, right? Excuse me. Do you know where the pumpkin pie is? Pumpkin pie? Somewhere up. They're in the front over there? Okay, thank you. <laughs> I found the pies. Look at that. Cherry pies, apple pies, walnut pies. We need a pecan pie. Boom. We need one pecan and one pumpkin. Check, check. We need ready whip. That's like whipped cream. You put that on the pie. It's freaking delicious. Sour cream. Okay. Excuse me. Yes. Do you know where Ready Whip would be? 
Uh, what whip, whipped cream. Oh, they'll, uh, they'll be near the milk. It's not near the milk. Back, back there. Ooh. Thank you. Oh, so sorry. sorry. <laughs> And uh, what she's doing, she is essentially shopping for somebody. So if you see someone carrying around a, a big red cart, they're doing some online shopping. So you could just order your groceries online and they have tons of workers here that'll just gather all your groceries. You can just pick them up outside. It's amazing. Found the ready whip. Didn't know whether we needed a big or small, just went with the big. Hey. Which one of these do you which one of these do you want? Americans love their frozen pizzas too. This right here is all frozen pizzas. We've got about 15, 20 different kinds. All this frozen pizza right here. Oh, there's more frozen pizza snacks over here. This is one of my favorite aisles, the breakfast aisle. The aisle that no other place in the world has besides America. Check this out. These are all cereals from the, from the edge over there all the way down here. All different types of cereal. But we have plenty of cereal at the house, so I'm not getting any. Actually, I take that back. I'm going to get some of these. You can't go wrong with the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, baby. Mm. All right, I think I have everything. I think we can get out of here. Always at the checkout counter, you, they have things. You know, your last minute items, snacks, magazines, candy, Cokes. Get your gift cards over here. Because just about all the time, you know, people are going to come with their kids. And the kids are going to be like, ooh, mommy, I want some candy. And she's going to be like, all right, just throw it in. Right. And I think we're set. We can get on out of here. There we go. True. Texas barbecue. Ah, mission complete. We did it. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video and joining me if you made it to this, uh, this stage in the video. Um, yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, <laughs> let me know. Just doing regular things here in Texas in my hometown. Not too exciting for me, but people back in Indonesia and over there, you guys might want to see it. So, yeah, thanks again for watching, and I hope wherever you are, you're doing well and you're staying safe. Uh, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, all that. And so, yeah, peace. Let's see how this sushi tastes. It's a little hard, the rice is. It's because it's been sitting around for a while, but for Texas sushi, it ain't that bad. Anyone want some sushi? You sure? Mm-hmm. Tuna and salmon. Which one do you want? A little soy sauce? One of each. One of each? Yeah. Okay. How do you rate it overall? Rate it overall? Uh, for Japan standards, it's not that good, but for here, not bad. I'd say four out of five. Mm. Chew the one. 
I can just wolf them down too. Mm. And uh, just to give you an idea how freaking cold it is here, the pool over here has frozen overnight. Wow, <laughs> that is frozen solid. Just yesterday, uh, there was there was no ice, and just there was like a 50 degree drop in the temperature from yesterday to today. Like that's how the weather is here. It's very unpredictable, and some days will be nice and warm. And then the next day, it'll drop to freezing and below. Yeah, I thought I'd be able to get in, but... Why I teach this method? To show that with a simple method out of nature, we are able to tackle the greatest problems. Which is depression, degrees. fear, Woo! anxiety, and pain. People with chronic pain. That's all unnecessary suffering going on. And all this industry is keeping on and say, yeah, that's normal. And I think that's sick. If it turns out that non-ingestible approaches, such as breath work or cold exposure, can approach some of the potency that medications can provide or have failed to provide, then it's quite possible that one can heal from the inside. Guess what? We found proof to tap into our body and mind, enabling us to become happy strong now that's pretty dang cold <laughs> oh my gosh my feet are freezing Whew. I mean should I walk on it definitely not you don't want to break the ice either because this is a a, uh, a lined pool the liner on the outside will just get ripped and uh, my parents would be pissed <laughs> so I don't want to do that again yeah, well, this is the backyard. It's kind of a mess in the wintertime. My house is definitely a summer home. That's why I come back in the wintertime and everything out here, I mean, there's just not much to do in the wintertime. And so I need to come back in the summertime when everything out here is set up and the, the plants look good and you can go swimming and, you know, have barbecues and hang out. and Yeah, but my, my home and is just not much going on my home in the city here. It's kind of boring in the, in the winter time. Let's get inside. It's cold.